Katz with Gallery Glass, and we're here in the Lower East Side speaking with Jason Vogel of Republic Worldwide in the Lodge Gallery. I'm here with artist and curator Jason Vogel at the Lodge Gallery in Lower New York City. Hi Jason, how are you? Good, how are you Tim? Good. Tell me about the show you have going on tonight. Well, this is uh, the Lodge Gallery, co-founded and co-curated by uh, Keith Schweitzer and myself. Um, the show that we currently have up is Traversing the Vector by Orlando Harasina. They are uh, digital vector uh, images that are created using uh, some of the highest tech software available and then hand transferred in a very traditional method onto wood. How did you find the artists that you're working with? Um, in this case, I've known Orlando for over 20 years, but oftentimes they're artists that uh, Keith and I have worked with over the years or have been recommended to us or we specifically sought out. Uh, to fulfill the mission of our uh, you know, curatorial statement. Do you generally feel like you work with art that is digitally focused? Occasionally, if it suits the purpose of our intentions. <laughs> um, in the case of digital art, what do you think of the project that I'm doing with Google Glass? I think it's fantastic, and I think it's a fantastic timing that we've got a show up right now that uh, utilizes some of the most sophisticated software technology uh, at the same time that you come in with some of the most sophisticated software technology. Now, you also are the founder and curator of Republic Worldwide. How would you say the transition of Republic Worldwide came into play with the Lodge Gallery? Well, um, I co-direct Republic Worldwide with Keith Schweitzer. Um, the Lodge Gallery is the Lodge of the Republic, so it's the physical manifestation of the Greater Republic, which is the umbrella company. We also do art consultations we manage corporate and private art collections, and then when we do our curatorial exhibitions, it's at the Lodge. Throughout your, your time working with Republic and here at the Lodge Gallery, what is the most interesting piece you've seen yet? Hmm. I know that must be a tough question because you've I'm worked with a lot of very exciting... It's currently behind me right now. <laughs> it's pretty fantastic. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't put uh, anything on the wall unless I thought that it was, you know, the highest caliber of work. So I could say that about all of the work that we put up in the, in the Lodge Gallery over the time here. You've worked with some really interesting collections, though, yes, throughout New York City and beyond? Absolutely. Some of the more interesting collections, believe it or not, are um, uh, investment banking companies who are in rivalries against each other to top the next best artist in their collection. And so it's always fun to see the next acquisitions that they make and things like that. It, in that same breath, you've seen some very high-end blue chip art in your time and some very lowbrow street graffiti art. Do you feel personally drawn to one direction or the other as an um, arts advocate and collector? Um, no, and I, I, I see uh, no distinction between the two. I, I think that some of the blue chip stuff is is no more exceptional than some of the lowbrow street artwork that I see. I mean, if there's depth of character in the work and depth of concept and uh, mastery of execution, um, those two things come together and marry very well to transcend some of their parts. And whether they're blue chip artists showing with some of the biggest galleries in the world or they're unknowns out on the street, if the work is awesome, the work is awesome. And I love working with both of them. I'm a, a personal fan of your, your artwork. Uh, I noticed that the theme of digital and technology often comes into play. Do you think that's coincidental, or do you find um, some real relevance for that in your life? Oh, no, absolutely. I mean, I call it lo-fi future art. Um, I think that's copyrighted by me, but I'm not 100% sure, so feel free to steal it if it's out there. Um, the, the work that I make uh, is primarily um, uh, Seven-day lifespan organic batteries with uh, utilizing LEDs and light boards and things like that. Um, I've always found that whether it's uh, you know for religious purposes or shamanistic purposes, the whole history of the human race is utilizing the most sophisticated technology at the time in a very sort of lo-fi way to create a sense of awe and inspire an audience. So I try and incorporate those sensibilities into my own personal work. Thank you, Jason Vogel. I'm Sam Katz with Gallery Glass. Now give us a kiss. Oh, you got it, baby. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.